Hello, my name is Cyril Wilson, Technical Marketing Engineer, Cisco Systems. In this video, we'll be discussing Cloud OnRamp for Multi-Cloud with Azure Virtual WAN. We'll show how Cloud OnRamp extends the SD-WAN fabric and policies to the cloud. We'll demonstrate how we securely connect to our Azure workloads and how telemetry and monitoring facilitate day one operations and troubleshooting. Let's start with a quick primer on Virtual WAN. Azure Virtual WAN is a global networking service that uses virtual hubs to provide a regional hub and spoke topology for connecting into and out of Azure. All virtual hubs within a virtual WAN are automatically globally connected using the Azure Virtual WAN backbone. These virtual hubs provide network service endpoints to allow for multiple connectivity options. This includes Express Rail Gateway for private circuits, Point to Site Gateway for users with Azure and or OpenVPN, and Site to Site Gateway for IPsec. Now, thanks to our strong partnership and engineering collaboration with Microsoft, Cisco can also deploy Calus 8000V routers inside the virtual hub. This allows for SD-WAN connectivity and all of its benefits. By connecting workload VNets to the virtual hubs, we make them available to all the network service endpoints and our virtual routers, both locally and across regions. Let's take a deeper look with a typical use case. Here, our customer has an existing SD-WAN fabric multiple workload VNets spread across several Azure regions. They want to make some of that workload available to specific SD-WAN sites. In our example, HQ does not yet need access to the cloud, but does use the SD-WAN fabric to communicate with the branches and vice versa. Using automation and REST APIs, vManage will send a configuration to Azure. This configuration will create the Azure Virtual WAN if needed. It will create the virtual hub and we'll instantiate a pair of Calus 8000V routers inside the virtual hub itself. This tighter integration negates the need for additional internal IPsec tunnels between our routers and the virtual hub, thus allowing for direct BGP peering. Again, using automation and APIs, we can take a subset of our workload VNets and logically group them using a VNet tag. We can now declare a connectivity intent for that tag, and in doing so, vManage will connect the tagged VNets to the virtual hub. The virtual hub will learn the tag VNet prefixes and use BGP to exchange those routes with our Calus 8000V routers inside the virtual hub. Now this is where our separate secure SD-WAN control plane really shines. Besides allowing for massive scaling and tighter key security, we can use connectivity intent and centralized policies to control access and direct traffic flows. Here the tag VNet routes are sent to our fabric, but only advertised to our select branches. Likewise, our branches will send their routes back to Azure. This will form data plane connectivity, allowing our branches access to our VNet workloads and vice versa. We can further restrict traffic by using centralized policies. In this example, only the dev QA branch should have access to the QA workloads. Our virtual hub is still learning the tagged VNet prefixes and using BGP to exchange those routes with our Calus 8000V routers inside the virtual hub. Using our separate secure SD-WAN control plane and centralized policies, we can block the QA routes from being advertised to the dev-only branch. This will form data plane connectivity, allowing our dev QA branch access to the QA workloads and vice versa. We do integrate transparently with Azure Firewall Manager and Secured Virtual Hub. We can use Azure Firewall Manager to create firewall policies consisting of rule sets. In this example, we want to be able to access our applications only on port 443. The policy gets applied to the virtual hub firewall, thus transforming it into a secured virtual hub. We can now access our workloads on port 443, but will be blocked on all other ports. Of course, we can use our Cisco ASAV or Cisco Firepower Next Generation Firewall or other third-party virtual appliances for deeper packet inspection. Furthermore, we can inject a default route from our fabric to the virtual hub. This will direct VNet to internet traffic across secure encrypted IPsec tunnels to a select SD-WAN site. There, the traffic can be inspected using the on-premise security infrastructure. This also provides for inspection on the return path. Now, when we talk about secure encrypted IPsec connectivity between our branches and our cloud gateways, it's important to note that we have several transport options. We can use the public internet. We can also use express route and or MPLS or any combination, all controlled via policies and routing. 
We can easily replicate this topology and controls into other Azure regions. Since the virtual hubs are part of the same virtual WAN, they'll be automatically globally connected using the Azure Virtual WAN backbone. We can now take one or more VNets in our new region and logically group them using a VNet tag. We can declare a connectivity intent for that tag, and in doing so, vManage will connect the tag VNets to the virtual hub and to the SD-WAN fabric. We could also take one or more VNets in our new region and assign them an existing tag. Since we've already declared our connectivity intent, vManage will automatically connect the tag VNets to the virtual hub and to the SD-WAN fabric. We can now use our separate secure SD-WAN control plane and centralized policies to control traffic flows based on customer and or application preferences. Our customer may prefer that some applications ingress and egress the cloud at the point of presence closest to the branch and ride the Azure Virtual WAN backbone across regions, whereas other applications should ingress and egress the cloud at the point of presence that's closest to the workload. We can also create centralized policies to allow branch-to-branch -branch communication across regions using the Azure Virtual WAN backbone. We can scale this to thousands of branches across dozens of Azure regions, all globally connected using the Azure Virtual WAN backbone. A multi-cloud dashboard and telemetry facilitate day one operations and troubleshooting. Our routers continuously send health information to vManage. This includes CPU, memory, interface, and tunnel stats, as well as general device health. This includes all hardware branch routers, as well as our cloud gateways, which also send information about their connected vNets. This data can then be aggregated and further analyzed to assist with baselining, trend analysis, and troubleshooting. vManage can also perform periodic and or ad hoc audits where it compares its configuration with that of Azure. If it notices discrepancies between the configurations due to inadvertent changes, vManage will report on the out of sync items, suggest remediation steps, and can even perform those actions for us. Our cloud gateways can also natively send telemetry data to Azure Monitor. This data can then be aggregated and sent to Azure Workbooks, where it can be further analyzed to assist with setting long thresholds, baselining, trend analysis, and troubleshooting. This concludes our video on Cloud on Ramp for Multi-Cloud with Azure Virtual WAN. If you'd like to try this yourself, we do have a hands-on sandbox demo that does not require an Azure subscription nor Cisco licensing. Please see the link below. Thank you for watching.